I'm talking about the annuity and the perpetuity. Annuity is a finite series of equal payments that occurs at regular intervals. If the first payment occurs at the end of the period, it's called ordinary annuity. If the first payment occurs at the beginning of the period, it is called a annuity due. So let's take a look at an example. In this example, we are using ordinary annuity, so the payment it happened at the end of the period. This person is very happy to receive $100 for seven years. So let's assume the discount rate is R, so the discounting factors uh, would be 1 divided by 1 plus R to the power T. So now we know what is the discounting factor for each year. The question is, when I add them up, what is the sum? OK, so now let's simplify this equation to use Q equals 1 over 1 plus R, and we have a new equation. So to solve this S, we want to multiply Q on both sides of this equation. So we have a second equation. So now let's take the difference of the two equations. So on the left side, you notice that uh, they have lots of the common terms. So those common terms will be canceled out. So at the end of the day, what's left on the left side is q minus q to the power eighth. So now we can solve s equals q minus q to the power eighth and divide it by 1 minus q. So now let's change it back in the form of r. We get this equation. Note that uh, in this case, the n, the number of the years, is 7. So the more generic form for this sum would be um, showing as this. OK, so perpetuity, uh, that's the infinite a series of equal payments. So that means the n goes to infinity. So take a look at the generic form equation we just derived. The second term will goes to zero when the n goes to infinity. So what left for s is one over r. So that's how we get the present value of the annuity and the perpetuity. I hope you find this helpful.